Hello everybody. Well, today I am working on making a, a little cutesy envelope and I just thought I'd bring you along with me. Um, so I've chosen this paper out of my stash and we're going to decorate it all up. I think it'll be so, so cute. So here's what we're going to do. Now you can make these any size you want to, but I cut my um, 12 by 12 down to 7 inches and then I just folded you know just figured out where I wanted to fold and before I glue the bottom flap down I've got my oval punch here and I was just gonna I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it here try to get it in the center and I'm just gonna cut a little notch there okay and then we're gonna glue the sides or do I want to line it first? I know what I'll do. Instead of lining it, I'll show you an easy way to cover a blank page. Okay, one idea is before you've done anything with your paper, just take a stencil, any stencil. I mean, I had to go dig through my stash to find something because I have not used stencils in a while. And then I'm just going to take this brush and I'm just kind of gently going over it. I'm not really lining it up or anything. I want it to be very sporadic. Okay, so you see I just moved it down just a little bit. So some of these marks will go on top of the other ones and that's quite all right. Let's see, we'll go over here on this edge and we'll get a few of these and maybe just a little bit there and maybe just something, something right there. I'm not too worried about this part because this will this will be up under the flap and you're not going to see it anyway. All right, so let's get you out of the way. Now, see, instead of having to line that, now it has a little um, design to it. All right, so I'm using some art glitter glue and I am just going to glue these two sides right here down like so. And I like to round my corner, so I'm going to round these two corners. Okay, so this is just a little corner rounder that I've got. You can use anything, or you don't even have to round that corner if you didn't want to. I just like the way it looks. Okay, so I want this to hold, hold items inside here, like maybe in a junk journal. But I also want it to be pretty and decorative on the outside. So, let's see what we're going to do. Okay, I've got these pieces cut um, from a previous project, and they're like pockets. I was thinking I might use them, like when you open here, I kind of like to have an additional pocket right there to stick some things in. But because the colors are so similar, I think I'm going to frame this in some dark brown. And this is how I do it. You can do it any way you want to, but when I need to you know, kind of bring a frame just to make something stand out a little bit more. I take my dark brown cardstock and I just want a little smidge, like maybe a, it might be an eighth of an inch and it might not even be that much. Just a little smidge there to go around the edges and that'll just keep it from blending in with the background. And then we can cut this part off. You could also do with a paper trimmer if you want to. All right, now. All right, so I don't know why everything looks so dark, but it does. To me, I've got my light as bright as it'll go, but still looks kind of dark. All right, so I'm just going to glue two sides, leaving the one that I'm holding unglued. I'm going to put that right there. So now we've got a pocket here on the outside. All right, let's see what else we want. Okay, and I've got this. This came off of a calendar back. This is the, the back side that shows like the miniatures of what the calendar is. And I just thought they were so pretty. I don't care what year it is. <laughs> All right. 
Now, I'll show you something. You've actually got a pocket here, but because I didn't glue those two together, you've got another pocket here. And if I'd have been thinking, I'd have put a little thumb notch there to indicate that there's two pockets there. But that's okay. You get the idea. Now, this is a little coin envelope that I have run through an embosser. And it's got... Um, um, 1 Corinthians 13, the love chapter, love never fails, love is patient, love is kind. That's what's written on here. And then I just hit the highlights with some a little bit of ink. But I'm thinking about using this little envelope. Actually, I was thinking about putting it right there. But since it's too long, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I am going to. Gun onion, and the writing is backwards. I don't like the writing backwards. I only want the writing this way. Well, let's see then. What shall she do? I guess I'm gonna have to leave it with the writing backwards. I'm not happy with that, but can't help it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this part over right here, and this will be an additional pocket. Tink, tink, right there. All right, so. We're going to put some glue. Again, I'm using my favorite art glitter glue. It is strong and it dries clear and quickly, very quickly. All right, so this guy, I want to put him right here. And I want to glue three sides. Okay, I want to glue here, here, and here. So I'm going to hold it here. I always hold it on the side that I'm that I don't want glue and that just kind of reminds me where I'm putting my glue. Okie dokie. And the reason I did that is now we have, I could put one of these two if I want to, this pocket, this pocket, and this pocket. Ta-da! So there's three. One little envelope made us three pockets. How sweet is that? All right, now Let's see, we can figure out what goes in all those pockets in a minute. I also have this guy, you know, the money coin holders and stuff. You can cover those and just make some of the cutest things out of them. So I think I'm going to cover it with a piece of the outside, um, the paper that I used for the outside. I'm just going to cover it. And the way I'm going to do it, you don't have to do this, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to fold it over so that my pocket is a little bit stronger like that. Okay, sorry, I'm out of frame, ain't I? There we go. So I just kind of folded that over, and now I'm going to trim it off, and then I'm going to glue it together. All right, so... Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so I'm going to add some glue here, mainly on that top edge, and glue that down. And let me show you where I'm going with this, because there's a lot of things you could do with it. I'm just going to put it here to make a pocket, which if I do it this way, it's not upside down. It's a directional print. Um, but since I've only glued one side down, I can also leave it like this, and it can be a little flip up. Let's do that. Won't do? That'll be fun. All right, so then I just need to cover this piece also, and I want it to be right side up and not upside down. So, let us do this. I'm just going to cut this off. I'm going to glue this down, and that's going to be our little flippy uppy. All right, so that one's going to go there. And somebody's crooked, so let's fix it. We don't like crooked. No, no, no. Here we go. No. So now we got a little flippy uppy. And I am going to round these corners and round this corner. And since we used a little coin envelope, don't forget, it's open on both sides. So what I'm going to do, I think I'll glue one side down. Let me get my little 
needle point applicator in there. Okay, so I'm gluing that side down, and that will leave this side open. And again, if I'd have been thinking, I could have cut a little notch in there. And I don't have anything small enough to get in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make me a notch. And it won't be perfectly round, but it's okay. I'm just going to cut out a little half circle piece of a fingernail moon, if you will. All right. So now, all right, you guys move. Now I can put him right here, pocket behind it, flip it up. And it's got a pocket right here. Could have made a pocket right there, too, if I was thinking. But I wasn't. And that's okay. I'm just gluing the rest of that down. Half of it was glued. Okay, so since we're going with three sides, I'm going to hold the side that I don't want glued down. And I'm putting my glue on there. And I'm going kind of close to the bottom so that I have room to stick tags and stuff up there in the top. All right, now... Let's see. So now we need to find something to go in here and something to go here. And here we have a blank which we can ink. Let's ink it up a little bit. But then we're going to find something pretty. And you could stencil that part too if you wanted to. But that stencil is, is so large, the print of it. If it's something tiny, I might would do that. But for now, I'm just going to ink that a little bit so it's not quite so white 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 all right okay so we got two more pockets to fill there we've still got our big pocket here we've got these pockets here and then we're going to decorate the outside so let's fill the pockets okay so let me show you what i've done so far i found a, an old vintage playing card and i added it to that pocket i've got a little burlap tag that's in here and I cut a piece of music paper into a one inch strip and put it in that pocket there, left a little hole there. And then this is a little booklet and I'm going to put it right here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some pages inside. Okie dokie. So here is the little booklet. I had this coffee dyed um, doily that someone gifted me a while back, and I just cut a little piece of it there, and then our booklet's just got some old book pages and stuff in there. So that's going to go right there. Now, we still have to find something for here and here, and so for this one, I think I'm going to take another one of the little bird calendar things. I'm going to put that right there. All right, now I want something to go in that pocket. Okay, so I just got a little cardstock tag with a little jute at the top, and I put one of my vintage um, stickers on there. So I'm going to slip that down inside that pocket. That's my plan. There we go. All right, and I'm going to use this to hold that flap down. See that, that little tag in the front? I'll hold that flap down. Okay, so, and then in the back, in the big pocket, I just added one of these beautiful, um, I think it's Graphic 45 or one of those beautiful cards. And I'm probably going to put some more stuff in there later. Um, and yeah, I did want to do something right there, didn't I? Okie doke. So I just got a little rubber stamp and I just stamped a little verse there it says spread your love everywhere you go mother Teresa <laughs> all right so I'm gonna close that down and I really want that to stay down a little better it's gonna burnish that down there we go all right so now let's decorate the outside so the outside oh I need to put that back in don't I the outside needs some pockets or something and these are some pockets that I have made a while back um, just book page pockets and I think it's going to be just a little bit too big I mean I could make it work if I really really want it to and maybe I will just for the sake of the video so it don't take me I don't have to go hunting something else that'll work I think this will work 
and cut it down a little bit. And we can put it right there. We could put it right there. I have a tendency to put things this way, though, because I'm right-handed, and I can pull things out like that. All right, holding the side that I'm not going to glue, I'm going to add glue to the other two sides, like so. And we're just going to glue that down. All right, so now we have two more pockets to fill. I'd pulled this out earlier, but it was too big. It's still a little bit bigger than I want in that pocket, so I need to go look at my tags. Okay, so I've got this little card that I did a while back, a, a little collage card, and I think I'm going to put it in the back. And then for the front pocket, this is just a little receipt thingy-jiggy that I inked up a little bit. I'll put it right there now. Okay, then I wanted to take some more of this little coffee dud doily and I want to add it right there I do believe this is actually the front here okay let's do it this way yippers that's what I want to do okay so I'm just going to look at that come on you okay so I just cut that off glued it still got that much for something else so that's great that's a little bit too white right there. We're going to fix it. Okay, now the last thing I want to do is I want to take some of this um, jute and I want to make a wrap around with a dangle. So that's one and that's two and that's three. So I'm going to go three times around and I'm going to cut it. All right, and then this part. Uh, you can, yeah, you can slide it off, but I'm not actually going to tie it, tie it, like, I'll show you what I'm going to do. For now, I just want it to just hang out for just a minute till I get through. What I want to do is put something on the end of one of these. Let me find something. Okay, so the video was getting a little bit too long, so I just went ahead and finished it. I say finished it for now because I have a tendency to go back and just keep adding and adding. But anywho, all right, so here's the front. You've already seen the inside. I added <laughs> an upside down pocket on the back, which may or may not, maybe if I put the tag in there that way, that might help. I wanted a, I wanted a different pocket there. And then I just attached this below the pocket so that when you close it, I'm just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. And I got a little dangle on the end here, and I just kind of stick it up under there. So there it is. Let me know what you think about it. And you'll be able to find this in my Etsy shop maybe in a couple of days. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.